Welcome Butter Sticks. Today we will be learning about the Plate Crate. A true sight for sore backsides on the battlefield. We begin today looking at the standard issue Plate Crate. Whilst in battle the Plate Crate dispenses trauma plates which are more commonly known as armor plates. The Plate Crate model shown here in the standard, yet quite stylish to tone black and blue color scheme is outfitted to serve as up to for troops. Providing each troop with up to eight small arms protective inserts. Or sappy plates. Sappy plates have an high density aluminum and ceramic core. Backed with layered Kevlar fabric, finished in a black nylon covering. Sappy plates are capable of stopping 762, 556, and 30 odd 6 rounds with striking velocities up to 3,100 feet per second, or 969 meters per second. Each plate measures 235 millimeters wide by 311 millimeters tall, or 9 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter inches respectively, with a nominal thickness of 25.4 millimeters, or 1 inch, and weighing 3.4 kilograms or 7.5 pounds. The mechanism of effect lies in absorbing and dissipating the projectile's kinetic energy in local shattering of the ceramic plate and blunting the bullet material on the hard aluminum ceramic core. The Kevlar backing then spreads the energy of the impact to a larger area and stops the fragments, reducing the likelihood of fatal injury to the wearer. The same principle is used for the ceramic tiles used for the armored cockpits of some military airplanes and the anti-spallation runners used in modern armored personnel carriers. Head over to the nearest by box location and fortify your team with the plate crate for only $6,000. The plate crate can really turn the battle in your favor and help you secure the victory, that is of course, unless the enemy is using the dreaded DMR. Now that you have been given a general overview of the plate crate, do you have any questions for me about the plate crate? Yeah, Sarge, I got a question. Let's say we are under fire and need to deploy the plate crate to gain the ability to keep on fighting. What happens if the plate crate gets hit by bullets? Our studies have shown that the plate crate will explode if shot but only if all members of your team haven't retrieved their plates from the plate crate. This behavior is rather strange as neither the plate crate itself nor its contents are at all volatile. Uh, yes, uh, I've got a couple of questions. Can we stop replacing our armor plates midway through the process during battle and turn fire if needed? And you said the plate crate costs 6,000. Where are we supposed to be getting all this money? Well, soldier, you can certainly try. However, I must tell you, it's a textbook example of high risk, high reward. You must exercise vigilant decision-making and extreme caution. Now, for the second part of your question, you will be able to find currency strewn throughout the battlefield. This is yet another perplexing phenomena. Our wrinkliest minds are working night and day for answers. Thank you, and remember, be safe out there. You only get one life. Well, unless you're playing Resurgence. Which in that case you will just respawn over and over again.